morning everyone. Today is February 19th from a beautiful, unusually warm 70 degree day here in New York. This never happens. If you've been following my videos for a while, you'll know that both my parents are artists. So we're here today at what's called the Biddle House. Now this house was built in 1845 and was owned by a man named Henry Biddle who actually operated the ferry system between Tottenville, which is where we are on Staten Island right now, and New Jersey, Perth Amboy, which is right over there. Now fun historical fact, little trivia, this point in Staten Island, the southernmost point of Staten Island, is actually the southernmost point in New York. So we're in the southernmost point of New York State, right across the river is the state of New Jersey, it's a beautiful day, we're on the water. This is February, what's going on? One of the benefits I think of living in the Northeast of the United States is it was the first place in America to be colonized. So you'll see the oldest of the old buildings and structures that are still around. So unfortunately, a lot of the Native American structures have been either destroyed through colonization or they've been deteriorated. So in America, in the United States, you're not gonna find very old structures in comparison to the rest of the world. This house was built in 1845, which relatively speaking is not very old in the context of structures that are still around today, but in America, it's a pretty old house. And what's interesting is in Staten Island, we actually have the oldest remaining schoolhouse. It was called the, it's called the Vorleser House, I believe. It's a Dutch word, I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it was built in 1695. So a lot of the structures you're gonna see, at least that are around today, really built in around the 1600s. I don't think you're really gonna get much older than that. It's just interesting, it's, it's fascinating to see life before you were around, especially in the form of structures that are man-made, because it really gives you the context of how small of a piece you are to really a larger puzzle, a larger piece of human history. Now my parents are both in a show here, and I actually think I waited too long and the house is closed, unfortunately, so we can't actually go in, but it's a gorgeous day. So let's explore the grounds a little bit. <laughs> Made it to the beach. Couldn't be a more perfect day. I can't find too many rocks on this beach that are good for skipping. This one's kinda, kinda flat, but it has this back that I don't know if it's gonna work. Let's see. Nah, that was terrible. There's just something about being on the water, walking along the coast, that really gets your mind into critical thought mode, where you just sit or walk and you ponder life. I think it's just the, the calm atmosphere, it's the sound of the waves. Everything's very calm on the shore. Sound of birds, sound of the waves up against the sand. It's peaceful. It's amazing that in the middle of February in New York, it's 70 degrees out, t-shirt, walking along the beach. I mean, this is something I would do in the middle of the summer. It's a beautiful day. There's something about nice weather when it's mixed in with bad weather, right? I mean, they always say you need to have some bad to realize happiness. I think you need a balance of both. So when you go through a long, cold winter full of snow and bitter temperatures, and you mix in, you sprinkle in one or two days of 60 degree weather. I mean, this is the type of day that just makes you feel good. You're in a good mood to be here. You're in a good mood to be alive. Look at how absolutely perfect nature is. The way the sun is just glistening off the water and almost these perfect star shapes. With a view like this, perched up on the staircase, February 19th, on what is a very unusually warm day, 
70 degrees on the water, sun is shining right down. I think this is a perfect place to end this video. 70 degrees, February 19th, New York City. These are the days that you live for. Peaceful, calm, serene, sound of the ocean, sound of the seagulls. Nothing but you and your thoughts. So on that note, everyone, lots of love, lots of respect from a beautiful New York City day. We'll speak to everyone in the next video.